Well, my grandparents started Chaz Roberts in 1942, and they were air conditioning and appliances. And my grandparents kind of worked together in the business and, and started it. And my father took it over in the early 60s. After he passed away, I took it over. My dad, I think he thought I might actually get in trouble. So uh, after seventh grade, he was like, you get to go to work. So summer of seventh grade, I'm down at the office. I started filing in the accounting department and, and then he bought me a computer and that was kind of my niche for quite a while. I um, uh, started programming, you know, back then the computer was this big. So I worked all through high school and all through college programming computers and it really gave me a great knowledge of how the systems and operations work. We do tracked homes, uh, remodels at homes, uh, custom homes, light commercial work. So we would change out like at a strip mall or something like that. Um, and then residential retail replacement and service. We want to be the best at installation. We want to give the best customer service. We want to do it on time, do it right. You know, I think our longest term employee uh, is at 38 years. Um, and he's been in our engineering department for, all, for those years and they're good at what they do. The nice thing about it is they're always willing to learn something new. So we don't get stagnant. We go out and we'll, we'll look at how other people are, are doing things differently than us. We try new things. We started our own Chaz Roberts University to train the field guys and you know, we have a big mobile training center that we take out to different yards and spot train people. My daughter and I, we do National Charity League together. And so I think for us, it was a good, good way to get out, spend time in the community, give back, and uh, really do something together. We did one of those extreme home makeovers, and that was really fun. And I think for something like that, you really got to see the whole community go out and work as a group. It feels good to give back. You know, we're, we're a fortunate place and, you know, to be able to help, it's nice. I was walking across the parking lot with my father and, and uh, he was just a great guy. Uh, and he said, you know, sis, I'd pay to come here. I'd, I'd pay to have them let me work here. I love this place. And I was thinking, well, I love the lake. So, and I wish I wasn't here. So, and at that time, it really didn't resonate with me. I absolutely now understand what he meant because I'm in that same position. I would pay to go to the work every day. I love going there. I love going home. I don't know what more you could want from your life than to enjoy every place that you're at.